hey guys welcome back and i want to start out this video by saying i was wrong i was wrong about the american chestnut darling 58 gmo i supported this tree this gmo tree being released based off the information i was given through the internet and all of the information showed positive results really nothing there wasn't anything negative there was no like real facts that it was like bad for the environment or bad for anything but <clears throat> now the american chestnut foundation has pulled their support for the tree and they pulled it for valid reasons so basically the, the they found a lot of problems with the tree um fast mortality rate fast mortality rate not really being resistant to the blight like it was supposed to be and apparently the reason for this was instead of using pollen from the original or not the but there was multiple multiple trees that were created at the same time as darling 58 but the um with i would i would think that this is how it went they put the oxygen in different different parts in the geno strand i guess i'm using that right and in those other trees and it wasn't as successful and it wasn't really good but the darling 58 they did it they did it right they thought but apparently the pollen that was sent to these places that were breeding these trees was pollen from the other trees not the darling 58 so basically all of these trees that they've been breeding for the last few years are complete garbage and they're not good at all. Gunshot. They're not good at all, meaning like fast mortality rate. So I read something that apparently when the oxygen is handed down with these trees, it is deleting genes, other genes in the tree causing the trees to die. And that is very dangerous and definitely definitely can't be released in the wild that would mess up the only genes that are left of the american chestnut so i was wrong and i will i pull my support for the tree completely as well um i should have known this news earlier but a fan pointed it out to me and i was i was taken by surprise because i didn't hear about this yet yeah i should have known this news like three weeks ago but it got to me a little late but i still support gmo trees i just i'm not optimistic anymore about the future of them um apparently they still may use the darling 58 the original darling 58 which is only one but apparently it was it was made wrong too so apparently it could it could have problems with its offspring so yeah this isn't really a good thing for gmo trees which I was guilty this past year of complaining and saying, why is it taking so long? I haven't, but I'll defend myself by saying all the information I saw, saw that there was nothing wrong with it. And that's where, what I was going off of, but I was wrong. I shouldn't have been impatient. Gene editing on anything takes a lot of time. So therefore I shouldn't have complained and i will not complain anymore if there is another gmo that comes out gotta be patient but i do still support i still support gmo trees just extensive research a lot more than we got it definitely took way too long for definitely took way too long for them to find out that this was done like this and that's very that's very sad it's it stinks because i was looking forward to seeing american chestnut trees in my life towering that tall like that 60 70 year old oak tree but all hope is not lost the best hope for the american chestnut tree is breeding projects like the ones i'm doing finding American chestnut trees in the wild, getting the nuts from them, 
and then breeding them with other surviving American chestnuts that have good that have good genetics. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And this will be successful. This should be successful at least against the blight. And we'll come up with something that is blight resistant up to a certain point. Looking forward to the future, breeding surviving American chestnuts from the wild, I believe is the more successful route to bring back the American chestnut tree. Breeding with Chinese obviously would probably be a faster chance at being blight resistant, but it's not gonna have the characteristics, the growth patterns, the, you know, the height, everything that the American chestnut tree has. It's going to be messed up by being part Chinese. So definitely, definitely, it's going to be better to take surviving American chestnuts, take their genetics, breed them together, and create trees that are naturally blight tolerant. And, tolerant. and we know that's happened because that one video I made, which has like 7,000 views now, I showed one of the stems of the one mature American chestnut tree that died. And on that stem, it's a fat canker. That is blight resistance right there. And that tree that died thought that blight for years. It has a callus layer the whole way around it. So natural resistance is real. Is it super strong in those trees? It's pretty good for them to live like 30 years. Could it be better? Yes, it could be better. That's why we're gonna make it better by breeding them with other American chestnut trees that are in the wild and surviving. And eventually I'll be going and looking for more specimens to add to the project. Thank you guys so much for the GoFundMe. It's really helped. We now have 50, 58 American chestnuts that I bought this year. I bought two grow lights. My aunt gave me like hundred dollars in the GoFundMe. So I took that money, I bought two grow lights with it and the rest of that will be used to buy um, potting soil or buy peat to grow the American chestnuts in. And there's a lot more money left over from that that other people donated, which I'm thinking, I'm thinking about maybe getting more nuts this year, but if everyone's okay with it, I may take that money, I may take that money and um, save it, save it towards fall to buy more with then, because I am tackling a lot of trees this year and I wanna make sure that the trees get enough care. I don't wanna jump into too many at once because I'm gonna have like, 300 plus trees I'm growing to sell, plus the American chestnuts. So I don't wanna divide my attention too much by having too many American chestnuts. And I also gotta plant them all in the fall. The area has still has to be cleared. So yeah, I don't wanna jump in too fast. So I'm probably gonna save the rest of the GoFundMe money for in the fall of 2024 to buy more nuts with. So the nuts are gonna get bought. So. You don't guys don't need to donate any more to the GoFundMe for now because we are we are set in stone. Then I still got trees from this year. Or yeah, still got trees from this year. They didn't do as good because of other because of lots of factors. Factors like dirt, pots, everything. But I know exactly what I did wrong this year, and I know what to do in the coming months to improve my improve everything I failed on. So, we got this. Um, I look a little pale because I'm a little bit sick. So, it's kind of hard to speak out here. So, if I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. But, it is what it is. Alright, guys. It's a disappointing, disappointing um, stuff about the American Chestnut GMO. But, that project, I consider it at this point. I consider it dead. It's dead to me at this point because there's really no hope of American chestnut GMO being released in the next 10 years. Even if they go back with the Darling 58 and start working with it from there, you're still gonna see no, no approval for like 10, 12 years. And I don't even trust it anymore because you gotta make sure that every time that tree is pollinated another tree, that the offspring isn't getting its, its genes deleted by the oxygen very disappointing to see it to see something i supported like that going downhill the anti-gmo karens can now take their victory lap 
they've won the battle, but I'm sure you won't win the war. I I'm kidding, guys. If you don't support GMOs, that's fine. I do support GMOs for a lot of things, like for crops, for example, because I would rather have a GMO crop than have pesticides on my food. That's a good, that's a good argument right there. But yeah, there's people that were extremely like anti, anti-release industry. They're like, it's going to destroy the environment, which even the American Chestnut Foundation said in their little video about no longer supporting it. They said they wouldn't think it would have any effect, big impact on the environment because it showed promising results, nothing, nothing affecting animals or anything. But I believe though, if it was released with the bad genes it has, it probably would have messed up the remaining American chestnut trees in the future that are in the woods. So it's not gonna get released. I can sincerely doubt it gets released anymore. All the other ones will probably be thrown all the offspring will probably be thrown away, destroyed, and they may start over with the oxygen. We know the oxygen works to get rid of the blight. We just gotta perfect it. So I support the future project, but as of right now, the only real way to bring back the American chestnut is by crossbreeding surviving trees or crossbreeding with Chinese chestnuts, which the American Chestnut Foundation already has a tree already has a tree they've been developing for years Ugh. already has a tree they've been developing for years with cross with back breeding so i would love to get my hands on one of those but to join their membership it's so expensive but i would love to have one of those trees i don't know how tall those get i would guess they're pretty good so yeah that's your options right now if you want one that's close to being blight resistant would be to join them and they'll give you some nuts from one of their trees which problem with those trees they're not growing like american chestnut trees they're growing kind of like chinese that's the problem and that's why they're trying to perfect it that's why they're not mass releasing them and planting them in the woods because they're really not that good all right guys that's about it for this video you guys know i will admit when i'm wrong I was wrong about the American chestnut GMO. The information I got was good. I didn't see anything wrong with it, but now I'm pulling my support for it. I was impatient. I see now why the rail, the releasing process takes so long because of things like this. This tree at this point would have not been helpful to release at all. So I was wrong to push for it to be released so early. But in my defense, once again, I was going off the information I had. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Hit that notification bell and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. Make sure to watch some of my videos. I'll see y'all later.